up everyone welcome back to the sweaty potato meyer rc channel and today guys today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a comparison between the 35 the taylor 35 and the taylor 40 and uh the reason i'm wanting to do a little bit of comparison um with these is because i i there's a lot of people on the fence of whether they're going to go with the the taylor 35 or whether they're going to go with the taylor 40 and i i want to kind of you know put out a video to kind of clear up some questions i mean if anybody has any about it so um, but first, before we get to that, um, I wanted to mention that Rob from IRC, he sent me this package and, uh, he has, uh, warrantied a set of my, uh, uh, UH ultra heavy duty. Yeah. Ultra heavy duty. Those UHD IRC UHD, um, dog bones, but he warranted, warrantied, uh, me a set out because I have broken, you know, I've been, I've broke four sets looks like there yeah there's four there so i got one warranty through mike at taylor rc and then i got another set warranty through rob at irc so i wanted to give them uh rob at irc and uh simon uh a huge shout out at uh, irc for helping me get these uh warrantied out so why don't we go ahead and and uh, open these babies up see what's going on in here because i kind of wanted to go over what's what's in here you know just for the simple fact that I've, I've been through, you know, some issues and everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ho ho. Ho ho. And these are the first set that I've had that are chrome plated. Check this out, guys. Those are chrome plated. Hell yeah. Loving that. Oh, these are going to be sweet. So yeah, thanks Rob at IRC Racing for the for the warranty dog bones, and I, I'm really loving the chrome on them. That's that's awesome. Here I'll show you the difference. I can show you the difference between how they used how they used to come and how these came. So I just wanted to show everybody they used to come black, and now they're chrome. So that's freaking awesome. All right, and then. Um, let's see, where were we? Okay, now we're going to go over the engines. And what I want to do when we go over the engines is I just want to point out, okay, this is obviously a 35cc, and this is obviously a 40cc. Um, and the 40 is 5cc's bigger than the 35, but that's not all that's different. There's so much more that is totally different about, you know, about these machines. And I, I always say that the 40 is a totally different animal than this. Um, and uh, I want to go over some things with it. Okay, so after the, the, the displacement, you know, stroke is a huge factor. This thing has a substantial longer stroke. Um, the engine from uh, the bottom of the case to the top of the fins on each one, uh, the, the 35 uh, measures uh, roughly four and a half inches. And the 40 from the bottom of the case to the top of the fins measures roughly seven and three quarter inches so there's a huge difference in height and stroke and what that allows for is larger transfer ports and a longer stroke and then also something that's different is the exhaust on these things this I'm, if i remember right i'm pretty sure this is like inch and three quarter or inch and a half or something like that inside diameter where this one you're looking at three quarter to an inch so there's a substantial uh size difference in the exhaust and, and everything. So um, I kind of want to go over that. And uh, let me let me see if there's anything else I'm missing uh, besides just the general size. You know, the like I said, this one's only five cc's bigger. Where which you can get one of these small bores. You can get a 30.5, and then you can get a 36 cc, and they look exactly the same. I mean, five cc difference. Yeah, you're gonna no, notice the power, but this is substantially different. And now. Uh, uh, well, when I go through the setups anyways, we'll, we'll see why, you know, what, what the substantial difference is, you know, with all these chain, with the differences between this and the differences between that, you know, as far as stroke and everything, we're, we're then we're going to go through the setups and everything. But to me, so, and the, you know, everybody says, well, these big bores, you know, they're, they're a lot heavier. Well, I'm going to tell, I'm here, here right now to tell you that the weight to power ratio is, it's not, it's not uh, compromised by any means guys so um and then let's go ahead and go through the setups okay so the 35 um its setup is 2054 gears 
with 170, uh, 175 rear tires and it has a locker and this baby is fan cooled which means it has a fan in there that's blowing air across the cooling fins to keep it cool and that that is a huge advantage that this, this engine has because you can take it out on a track and you can rip it and rip it and rip it and rip it and it's more like i mean it's going to stay cool because that fan's forcing air across the fins all the time where is this i mean you got to be out in the open because the only air this thing has is the air flowing over it from the speed you're carrying so that's that's a huge huge uh difference between these and and like this one, I mean, you can you can rip it in small spaces, but I wouldn't do it for uh, long times, you know, long you know long rips at a time, I guess. Um, so uh, so that's a huge difference, and he, that's why these are ran out. You know, they tell you to run them out in an open field is because they they got to have that air flowing across them to keep them cool. So, um, but uh, that that's that's the huge difference. So like I said, this one's running twenty four fifty gears, or yeah, twenty four fifty. Okay, 20, 54 gears, 175 tires, and a locker in the rear. So, and they, and uh, this this 40. Now listen to this. The list the the 40 is running 24, 50 gears, 195 tires, and a locker, and it's not fan cooled. Uh, but so if you put that in perspective, okay, so the the 40 is running 24, 50. Well, that's four gear sets above. The 35 already because the 35 is running 2054 so it's four gear sets above in that aspect and then the 195s add another two gear sets so it's in total six gear sets ahead of the 35 and uh and all that stuff so um and i tried my best to set them up the same you know as far as you know the setups and the tires and stuff but I cannot, there's no way I can, I'm, I could, I can, I'm not saying I can't, but I'm not going to throw, you know, really low gears in this 40. I'm just not going to do it. It, it. it doesn't make any sense. So, um, uh, let me see what else do I, do I want to say? Oh, and then as far as like, uh, you know, the other setups, you know, th these are both Baja chassis. They're Baja platforms. They're both Baja platforms. The only difference in this machine is it has the truck mount on the front for the body. And that's that's really the only difference. So it can have this body on it. So when it rolls over, it has protection of, of the expansion chamber and everything. And then what I wanted to say is soon this one will get a truck mount, and it's gonna also gonna have a cage on it to protect its expansion chamber and everything. So in, in essence, they're both gonna be pretty much the same. Um so that's that's cosmetically why this one looks different is because it has a truck body on it and it's it, the same platform but another dif another difference is is this one's got pretty much everything's aluminum on it the only th thing that's not aluminum is the rear bumper uh bracket brace or whatever and then these these uh, uh shock tower mounts and then in the front you got these uh deals that uh hold your well they're holding my symmetrical steering in and then they also, you know, the hinge pin goes through, the upper hinge pin goes through. That's plastic. And then this front bumper, you know, this front bumper skid plate thing, and then just the truck mount. So that's the only thing that's plastic on this. Otherwise, everything's aluminum. And then as far as this thing, it's pretty much the other way around, guys. It's all plastic, not a lot of aluminum. So, the, and this machine weighs substantially more than that machine, um, you know, so... So that's setups and everything. And I wanted to go over, you know, the first footage we're going to be looking at is the 35. And uh, the second is going to be on the 40, of course. And this first comparison is, okay, so I listened to everybody's, everybody's votes on the poll. And we're going to get there. But what I want to do first is in this, this comparison, I want to do it in a small space. You know, and then what we're going to do is next, we're going to go out to the to the new old spot out in New London, where, what everybody voted for, not everybody, but it, it, got, it got the most votes. So that's where we're gonna go next, to the wide open spot, and then we'll compare them in the wide open spot. So, all right guys, check out the footage. And if you like it, make sure you smash that like button. And uh, if you haven't su subscribed yet, guys, and you like what you see, you should probably con consider subscribing because this is what I do, guys. And uh, if there's something on your mind, leave a comment in the comments section. We'll see you guys in the next one.
Oh, must have got something on the clutch. guys now we're out here at the 40 GT and we're gonna do a comparison of the 35 and the 40 just in the backyard so notice the notes notice the sound and notice the, the power of the torque
<laughs> that was awesome. What happened? I wonder. Notice the power difference, the intensity. All right, guys. That's that Taylor Power, baby. Yeah!